Hello? Alright, everything looks good. This will be the scrim match between Tal. They're the TR team over here. These guys, look at them. Look at these guys. Are they ready to defeat Frost? On the other side here, let's check out Frost. These guys. Leave the oh shit. Alright, anyway, anyway, anyway. So, this will be three to five rounds of uh, planet side where you have to capture the base if you're attacking in order to win. And if you're defending, you have to lock down the base. So it needs to be uncontested for a certain amount of time. At the start of the round, that amount of time will be five round, or five minutes. Uh, at the in the middle of the round, if the base becomes uncontested, it'll be, it will become three minutes. But it must remain uncontested for three minutes total in order for the defenders to win at that point. Alright, anyway. <laughs> uh, so yeah. You'll see. It'll make sense after the first round. We're just waiting on a player real quick, and then we will begin the first round. I'll do the little countdown. The teams will leave their spawn rooms, and the match will begin. <laughs> I checked in the mail. No. I didn't realize I was getting paid. Alright, no worries. Got five more minutes just waiting on a member of Tal to arrive. Beautiful sunny day in Amherst today. PSB was very kind and allowed me to use a observer cam for this, so I'm very grateful for that. Thank you, Jaeger people. You guys are pretty cool. be a medical emergency, kind of a unfortunate, but you know, shit happens. Someone brought a reaver, that's not allowed normally, but we're chilling here. I hope you guys can hear me. I didn't really check my audio. What the heck's going on here? Just waiting for a member of Tile to arrive, then we will begin the match. I hope you guys are getting good audio. 
I spent like, like what, like five or ten minutes trying to fix my audio. I didn't realize I had my freaking stream muted. That's fine. It looks good. It looks like the audio is coming through. I'm not too worried about it. Jesus, the first casualty. FT Bandit goes down. Looks like he... I don't know what happens. I didn't see it. <laughs> Up. Yeah, uh, Tal is waiting on one of their members. Shouldn't be too long now. Or maybe it will, who knows. Maybe they'll just never show up. I'm guessing we don't, but do we have a list of who's who? Like, uh, I, what the not number of not to? Oh man, that would have been good. I'll ask Rex for that. I'll, I'll ask him right now. Hey. Just so we can have a little document to know, like... Who to refer to, unless we're going to be like, 1173 coming out with a sick <laughs> double kill! Yeah, the only names account here is, is uh, Hefty Bandit, so... Yeah. Oh, Hefty's there? All yeah, right. Hefty's here. Yeah, I'll ask Rekt right Frost bringing in, uh... Ringers. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, th I thought Hefty wasn't in Frost. Oh, I know he was for a while, when I thought he was in Ohio. I guess Ohio was, like, kind of Frost, and then... I thought he was like doing his own thing, but maybe mistaken. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah, Hefty's a gamer though, so we'll see. Yeah, I'll I'll go check. Uh, I'll go ask Tall and or not Tall. I'll go ask Rex in voice chat for that list. Be right back. Hello. Hey, Erect. Uh, one second. All right. Uh, cool, cool. All right. Rect will give us the list. It's still going to be kind of hard. Maybe I should change my colors. Are these, are these colors coming out okay? Like the name, the name tags. All right. All right. Get the list. Oh, I uh, took a. It isn't? Nope. How the hell do we... Um, how do I fix that? <laughs> Alright, here, have my... Hang on, add audio input capture. Audio output yeah, capture. Discord. Desk. Okay. Yeah. Dude, they, this is a lot different from when I used this. All right, default. Yeah, shit changes, man. Discord. It didn't ask what... All right, I hear me. You hear me? You hear yourself now? I do. I'm hearing myself. I didn't... I'm crazy. All right, all right. Here we go. Oh, I know what happens. I muted the, I muted the whole stream. All right, let me try nice. this. Yeah, I'm a fucking moron. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, do so you still hear yourself? Uh, test. Yeah, I'm beautiful. Nice. All right, good to go. gotta send you this i forgot all right hang on here's the list did i send it to you no all right he took a picture of his monitor because these people haven't heard of screenshots before but that's okay whatever works 
I could read it. So that's <laughs> <good>. <laughs> Let me pull this up on the big screen. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah, we get this on stream. Yeah, this is going to be on the, uh... oh my god, the spreadsheet. The raw oh, spreadsheet. Oh no, I can't put this on the stream, it'll show the it's passwords. It's got the passwords, yeah, dummy. <laughs> All right. All right, we'll have to just, this is going to be hard, honestly. Well, we'll see what happens. Yeah, this is even useful anyway. I just need to know the num the numbers next to their names. Oh, yeah, there you go. Well, actually, I guess the uh, the first column has it. Yeah, yeah, those are the numbers. Yeah, 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 okay. So you guys have the numbers. All right, it'll take some getting used to, but when somebody makes a sick, sick play, it'll be like a five second delay between me <laughs> seeing it, looking at the spreadsheet, and then saying, oh, they're not so nasty. I still count seven tall members. We're still waiting on one. I hope the last guy is at least alive. That'd be cool. I see it's a uh, run back at Genie 9 Physics. Yeah, they love the map after they fucking kicked our ass at it. What was it? It's a great, it's one of my favorite live places. I mean, it, it can be like a real shit show if you get pushed into the triple stack, but like overall, it usually has a lot of back and forth, which is fun. Yeah, no, they, I saw they did two requests since then. They were both at this base, so I guess they really like it too. This is yeah. the home field of Tall since they took it from us. It's not our home field. Yeah, I like this base. I like uh, Chack Fusion. Those are probably like my two favorite live bases. Aside from the, the wacky warp gate bases, they don't get to see much. But yeah. Hey, I'm chilling. So you figure out how to control well? Yeah. Uh, how does it I, move? It, it moves like uh, like forward it's and like, back, and then you use the like mouse to turn, the and then shift to sprint, control to go down, space to go up. Okay. Like, yeah. And you could zoom in, which I'm not going to do much. You could change the speed, which I might also not do much. We'll see. I think the speed's fine. Yeah, no, don't you, too much. you had to have the controls. Apparent, uh, yeah. At some point, they changed it so the default controls uh, swap your weapons. Enemy medic in the area. What's your FOV? Seventy-four. Uh, fifty-five. Let me. Uh, let me bump it, let's bump do seventy-four for this. Yeah. yeah uh, did that even change anything? No. It didn't. <laughs> you didn't do shit. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ace is fixed. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if I zoom in, it looks like it changes the FOV. Let's see? Yeah, that's what zoom is, bro. Come on. What, what, what FOV is good here? This looks like 74. Oh, yeah, we should play on high FOV here. I'm surprised how peaceful this uh, pre-game setup is going. The only well, they, don't, they don't speak the same language, so they're not able to shit talk each other. <laughs> one, one speaks blue, the other speaks red. True, true. You need to be a follower of Broad, Broad and Broadsword to chat, Pam. Getting too many spam bots. What? I what? There's a restriction on chat. Yeah, you have followers only. Followers only. I How do I fix you. that? Well, don't follow I don't me. I don't want you to follow me. <laughs> How do I? How do I turn off follower only mode? Here, let oh. me Google this. This is my first time doing this in like 10 years. Not 10 years. It's been like fucking four years at least. Right, I'm Googling this. Hang on. How to turn off follower and subscriber chat. Oh, uh, okay, okay. All right, we got this. Follower only chat off. Slow mode off. Emotes only. Oh chat. shit! What is it working now? Slow mode off. Yeah, we don't need fucking slow mode.
Can we get some Evo 2019 emotes in chat, please? I don't know how to do that. <laughs> 2018, god damn. Oh, there you go. There's one. <laughs> this, yeah, follower mode is off now, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. All right. All right. That's good. Let's go check out the TR warp gate. No, I'm just kidding. It's too far. I don't want to screw with my speed either. I think it's perfect right now. Yeah, now you just need to master the movement. We'll be good. Yeah. I'm really surprised they actually gave me an observer cam. Very generous PSP people, Jaeger guys. Benevolent overlords. Yep. Still waiting on a tall guy? What's going on here? Yeah, yeah they said they're bringing a sub, so hopefully. You're subbing me in? All right. <laughs> I already saw the document, so I'm on my way. <laughs> oh, here we go. There's eight of them now, I think. One, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven. No, never mind. And they're multiplying. <laughs> <laughs> He's back, apparently. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, all right. Wait, am I going insane or am I just unable to count? Let's see. Uh, one, two, yes. three, four, five, six, seven. It's, uh, you're looking at seven people. All right. So it's a bit of both. A little column A, a little column B. A lot of wishful thinking. If only there were eight red mans instead of seven. We could just ask someone on Frost to team kill every now and then. Uh, that'll balance it out. Well, they're playing in C. It would fit. True. Can't really go visit so, them. So, are these are the same restrictions? So, not not too much. A lot closer to live. Where it's like, I don't think there was any explicit restriction on shotguns or anything. Do we know about any like gentlemen's agreements or anything like that? Yeah, there's a gentleman's agreement. No shotguns. No C4. No C4. All right. Tell's gonna be. I was gonna be limping to the point then. <laughs> that, was, that was their specialty. Well, they use shit tons of studs against us too. I wonder if we'll see that again. Well, I know conks are, are generally better in like six v sixes and eight v eights, but we gotta have we'll a rematch better. soon. Oh come on! They're, they're, they're <laughs> just getting into their next round. We're, we're, we're still we got weeded out in pools. They're, they're just getting into their <laughs> Broadsword infantry. It's not quite March Madness. I guess it's like June Jamboree, but something like that. <laughs> you gotta wait for the, the, the full elimination. All right. the, grand, the grand prize winners get get to fight us. Okay. On our, our terms. <laughs> <laughs> With a generous handicap given to the hosts. <laughs> All right, we're still waiting on the eighth. Any second now. Late, no big deal, and counting, but no tick tock, yeah, tall and absolute shambles. Can't even organize their squad. That's okay, shit happens. All right, they say they're ready. All right, yeah, I see nine people in their Discord. So. <laughs> nine, all right. 
Okay. Let's check if Frost is ready. Nice. All right. Well, they're on NC, so aren't they FRS too? Huh? Oh, I'm just talking shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, they say. So wait one sec. And. Is it good quality on Twitch? I hope so. Yeah, yeah. Nice and smooth. About the same, yeah, about the same as Discord, yeah. Sweet. It's like we're ready. Oh, they're ready, they're ready. Okay, all right, here we go. Here. Yeah, go, go, go. It begun. Calm with their pants off. <laughs> here they come. All right, let's check out what Tal's initial opening strategy here is for this offense. They're taking the low road, it looks like. Good stuff, worked against us, kicked our ass. Come on. Lost, just losing TR soldiers. All right, let's see, what classes do we got? We got an infiltrate. Two heavies, a medic. Great point coming out from a light assault on cross. Yeah. Able to take out a medic, this is gonna be a big problem for Tall. They might get pushed back to spawn with this. <laughs> oh, I forgot the timer on the jackets. That's alright. One second. I'm sorry, guys, one second. Alright, we'll start it at 4. Yeah, it's been probably about 4 30, 45 seconds. Alright, here we go. 4 30. Oh, I'm not quite able to get a hold on the point. Yep. They gotta flip, start flipping that point within 4 minutes 30 seconds. Tall placed a beacon. It's a pretty far back beacon all the way by the Sunderer. I don't know how that much that's gonna help them. They might be able to get on the middle building. Yeah, it looks like they can just get onto it. They're yeah. probably trying to get something on that tower. They've reorganized and making another push. The light assaults are really paying dividends for Frost. I think they have two? I'm a, at least one. I think, I, I think I'm gonna have seen two. I, they have two, yeah, they do have two light assaults, which is surprising to see, honestly. Well, I mean, with the, with the GS7, it's gonna give them a lot of power. So I'll just get a quick pick and get out. Right. I, I, I'm willing to bet the MT guy with the MS15 is probably Petro. Uh, that, oh, that light assault went in the wrong time. Yeah, you know, maybe Frost's getting a bit too aggressive here, but I mean, three tall members are a lot dead. of resonates coming out. Dead. Tall's right outside the point. They just but gotta. That Frost speaking is gonna make it real hard for Tall to do much. They're, they're dropping. They're able to uh, get right back on the point real quick. Yeah, and they got a setup going here. They got the. They got, oh yeah, an electro tech uh, engineer turret. Yep, they got the turret. They got the wall. No. Nope. The tall is getting onto the point. They didn't start flipping yeah, they shut yet, down right? real quick. They have three more minutes. Frost starting to get a little bit more ground. This is going to make it real tough for Tall. If they can keep control of the main building, maybe they'll be alright, but this is, this is looking uh, really I haven't tricky. seen... There hasn't been a lockdown yet, has there? I hope no, they have not flipped the point yet. Yeah. That's a real aggressive, yep. Hefty yep. goes down, the only name to count here. Fight assault down. Hell's trying to push in. But they're going in one by one, the one by one club. Uh, yep, the right thing is coming out though. Looks oh, like they're flipping it, they're flipping it, here we go. Alright. We're playing on, uh... A really strong timer. flank in that light assault, though. Light assault and hefty able to shut him down. Oh, they already freaking flipped it. All right, two minutes for top. I'll have two timers next time. And we have one right now. 
anyway. Tell's uh, just dropping down the roof. Not really pushing together still. Well, maybe they're stuck. Here they come. Yeah, they're taking a chill on the rhythm. A little too aggressive there. Wreck dying on the point. Let's see if he's gonna get a red day coming out. Yep, two down on the point. There's only one frost on the point. Tell needs to push in already. No, oh, no. Looks like Hefty and a lot of health is taking over the point, but. Oh man, it's a lot of tall bodies in there. No red coming They're out. Of all, sight. I think that was a wipe. They're all dead. Alright, two Quite minutes. Defense from, from Frost. I'll be a bit better with the timers next round. No big deal though. Well, so far, Frost has made it, so you haven't had to be too good with timers. Yeah. Points flipping, but they gotta they gotta start a base timer. They haven't done that yet. They have a minute thirty to get this point. Oh man. Now this is a brawl on the point, but looks like Frost is able to really keep a good rhythm on the resonates. And that engineer uh, shield has really actually slowed down the, the yeah. tall approach to the point. It's it's really interrupted him. Yeah, this shield's doing work. Right, what, what do we got going on else? I mean, Tall's attempting to stack up, but between between the light assaults and hefty flanking with the suppressed saw, yeah, look at that. Oh, Big flank come out from that light assault. I think I missed it. Alright, they have 55 seconds to put this point, otherwise Frost will. We'll only give him a one minute warning. Tal's got some bodies in the point, but... Oh, they're actually able to... Looks like they're flipping it. Frost pushing back in. Big fight from the opposite side by Frost. Ooh, and Tal's getting wiped off that point. <laughs> yeah, they just got smoked again. But they are big on those resonates, we'll see. Oh this yeah, counter resonates coming out from Frost. This is probably going to be Tal's last push. Yeah, they got 10 seconds. From the countdown. Yeah. Here, three, two, one, that's it. That's it. I wanna say in yell chat. Alright, Frost wins the first round, I just declared it in yell chat. <laughs> They're still fighting. The, con the, the conflict is uh is not ceasing. Well they this base needs to flip anyway. Yeah, I'll be better with the timers now. I got was kind of a shitter that yeah, time. Just get them all set up and get them yeah. all set up. We got time. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of what we saw in our first round when we played against them too, though. Tall tends to take a little while to get into a rhythm. Yeah, I remember. Um, yeah. That but first... I mean, you really say that was a really strong showing from Frost. They had they had that right mix of, of aggression with uh, pacing themselves, where they were able to let their light assaults go, get some really vital picks. Their medics didn't, uh, you know, blow all their resonates early. It seemed like they they were always there just in time. Whereas it seemed like about halfway through, Tall started to get real desperate, and uh, it's, they lost a lot of their cohesion. At least part way through. At the end there, they kind of got it together, but it was too little, too late, I think. Yeah, I remember during our round, uh, we all, we almost locked down the base before they flipped, and then they turned it around and stomped us for the rest of that night. That's fine. We almost got a win. <laughs> Not better. <laughs> uh, it's a pretty good showing by Frost so far. I wasn't expecting that. And they've got some really strong point holders. I mean, that's, that's basically what they do, right? I mean, yeah, tall, tall, so that's not to, to 
diminished Tall, uh, what they've been up to, but I think Frost has been in the point holding game a little bit longer than Tall has. So I mean, they're going to have to kind of innovate a bit and, and really tighten up their plan if they want to. They want to win. I'm gonna go grab a, a refill while I got this one minute fifty second break. We're no back. problem. All right, score is one to zero. Frost is currently in the lead. Waiting for the base to flip another minute thirty. Enemy medic in the area. Will you truly allow yourself to lose? The Terran Republic has taken the facility. That stupid fucking game thinks of why I'm talking newbie chat. I wonder if that's a general setting. Alright, I'm back. Alright, welcome back. One sec. <laughs> One second on both one sides. Second? Yeah. At least two seconds. Each side using up one of their secs this early on. <laughs> we'll see how this uh, works out. Now, what I noticed was the uh, last round, it seemed like Tall, and correct me if I'm wrong, they either didn't have a light assault or they only had one, whereas they did have an infiltrator. I wonder if they're going to stick with that uh, in light of uh, Frost having two light assaults. And I'm also wondering if Frost is going to stick with those two light assaults. Seems super effective. Um, but that just might have been because they're triple stack side. Yeah, I don't see any light assaults in the spawn room right now. I don't see any infills either. I saw one infill. There's one infill, I think. Yeah. Oh, no, there's no infill. No, no. So it looks like three medics, three heavies. They're doing their little buddy system. All right, let's start this round. All right, let's start the timer. Five minutes. Let's see what we got. What's Frost's opening move here? Looks like they're splitting up in groups of three. They enemy heavy nearby. We're meeting and up in this like Frost has an infill this time. Not going with the double light assault strategy, it seems. Yeah. Let's see. What's who's down here? Heavy. Engineer. Really effective offense coming up from Frost. They're able to take that lower area. That's yep. where Tall got tripped up early on in the last round. Yeah, a lot of self punks come out from Frost, though. Yeah, yeah, Frost does have a light assault still. Like we said before, uh, Tal is three minutes, three heavy. 
Oh, big flank will pay off. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, oh man. A double KO, but it looks like the resonate comes out. Oh, yeah, look at this. Wait, where's the Frost is going to be out the point momentarily, it seems. Yep. Get that timer ready. Yep, I'm getting it ready. Oh. It'll be base timer once they start the flip. I'll just assume they keep it. Yep, I got the other timer ready. Really aggressive take from Frost. That was super quick. Yeah, that was but really fast. Spawn beacons letting Tal some really wide flanks, but given how locked up uh, Frost is in the point, I don't know if that's going to help him. They've got the uh, engineer shield again. It's almost like just a, uh, a rerun of the last match. <laughs> oh, that Spitty's doing top. work. Yeah, that offense engineer is doing a lot better than I thought it would. Info coming out with the pilot. Yeah. Can't underestimate that thing. It's oh man, that TDF7 is really just doing paying dividends for uh, Frost. Yep. They need to get Conks on point and push in like they did against us. I remember they were spamming Conks against us. I, I, I haven't seen a single I think time. Frost is having a real good time. Uh, they're, they're peaking, but not too aggressively. They're making it really hard for Tal to properly stack up. Yeah, they're playing really well. This is a really good hold, surprisingly. Meanwhile, again, uh, Tal just going in one by one. Yeah, I, I think the pressure is kind of getting to him a little bit here. It seems like they're starting to stagger a little bit or try to make something happen. Um, it might be that they're trying to prepare a big resonate, but it doesn't seem like Frost is going to crack that. Looks like Tall stacking up on the triple stack, getting ready. Oh, someone went down on the triple stack. Uh, two big picks from the infiltrator. <laughs> looks like Tall's bringing their infiltrator up. Alright, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually not mistaken, I'm mistaken. It was, re it was Revenant I saw, it was Revenant yep. I saw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> someone went down in the back of the way. This is just a very strong hold for Frost. Yeah, and it, I think the the offensive infiltrator is helping him a ton too, because in the instances where Tall is stacking up, they're actually just losing a player or two here and there, which really puts a hamper on them getting like their strategy going. They're not really able to set the pace that they want. That Spitty's forcing everyone off the point. The Spitty's the MVP here. <laughs> it's man versus machine coming out on A point. <laughs> NSOs when you have that spit. Oh, really big play coming out from Hefty there. Yeah. He peeks, takes out like two or three guys. Not sure if that was the, the cyclone I heard or what, but either way, that thing was shredding. That's dual infills on Frost. Two infills? Yeah. Alright, they're coming in the other door. Let's see what's going on. I think that really just shows how much Frost is, is respecting their stack up and just trying to really pick them apart. Big push come up from Tall, they're able to get people together. They all went they're all down. They're all on one side of that. That like shield that. is really just completely shutting down their push. Yeah. And one, one lone Tall man on point, he goes down. <laughs> Fifty seconds left. That was a real quick kill from. Oh, that infill's oh, putting in work. Oh, infill goes down. So He's at 104. Pancake King shredding him. That tall resident coming out, but they're just being real disappointed about making sure to to pick off any zombies. Oh, this is the most solid hold I've seen in the scrim like so far. Really good rotations come out from Frost. I think that's really the name of the game, is that they're able to have somebody go out, get a pick, rotate out, and have somebody cover them. So they're never really losing their resumes. They're not really having to risk any medics. Yeah, the Tal needs to push them together with Conks. That's what I think they gotta do. I mean, this shield, honestly, it's not um, being pushed. But uh, the shield's not covering the door entirely, so if they just slow down a little bit, well, I'll, I'll say that, uh, well, first off, it looks like they won. Um, but I'll say that the, the, the one or two times I've seen them conk on that door, they, they've self-conked because that shield blocks them and, and, and knocks the conk back out. But, uh, yeah, really overall, really good hold from Frost. 
Yeah, it was a really solid hold. They're doing a lot better than I thought. I mean, they're yeah, good players. I know they're good players, but this I wasn't expecting this one-sided. Yeah, that, that's real tricky. I'm sure there, there's some uh, very interesting conversations going on in the, in the tall Discord right now as they try to figure out, you know, what went wrong, what can they do to fix it? Because it just seems... There, there isn't doesn't seem to be a big fundamental flaw in Tall's strategy necessarily. It's just that Frost is playing really well around how Tall wants to play. They're really not letting Tall play Tall's game. Um, when, whenever Tall started stacking up, they uh, Frost made some adjustments, pulled out another infill, and it just seemed like they were able to, you know, to shut down anything that Tall wanted to do. Uh, we saw that first round with two uh, two light assaults, really just shutting down any push on the lower side, shutting down the, any ownership of the buildings. And now in this round, we see two infills just preventing them from ever really getting any presence on the triple stack or even behind the point. So um, I'm wondering how this, uh, this next round is going to play out. Maybe, maybe Tall's going to say, gentlemen, agreement off. C4 is on its way. <laughs> <laughs> it's just leaving the NC Sunder in the garage. They're just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They've been programmed to farm. They know not to kill senders. <laughs> Can be valuable crops coming from that vehicle. And whether they want to sit in the garage or out of the garage is entirely up to them. I think this is going to be a real make or break round though for the overall scrim and that's because now that uh, Frost has seen what Tall is ready to offer on both offense and defense, if Tall doesn't do something new, if Tall doesn't shake it up, I think Frost is going to be a lot more aggressive this round because they, they know what they can get away with. They've started to feel out what their opponents are doing. So unless Tall can really make some waves, I think they're going to have a lot harder time. Yeah. Um, we, saw, we saw Frost playing really reserved in round one, a little a little, uh, a little less reserved in round two, but but still. But I think now that they might see, okay, you know, here's what we can get away with. Our lettuce halls are really uh, putting in work. Um, so, so I'm really interested in seeing if, if Tall can kind of disrupt that and, and stop letting Frost kind of get into into their flow. Yeah, and the agreed upon rules was if a team wins three matches in a row, the scrim match is over and Frost. Oh wow, win. okay, so we got a slaughter rule coming in too. So that, I mean, yep. one way or the other, Tall's gonna have to make something happen. Yeah, if they lose this one, it's over for them. But if they win two more. They'll have to win two more to get the tiebreaker and then win with that third round. So this is basically a best of five from working. Uh, so Tetra might already be starting up the Frost van, getting ready to go to Pizza Hut for the <laughs> after celebration. Really don't want to have a lot of tall tears over at Chuck E. Cheese, though. <laughs> All right, as soon as both teams are ready, we will begin the round. You said they had two infiltrators last round, Frost? Yeah, Frost, Frost had two infiltrators last round. Two infiltrators. And, and uh, one as yet unidentified <laughs> person. <laughs> the two infiltrators of Battle Engi and what? I said they had a light assault too, right? Yeah, yeah the Hefty counts as like four heavies. So we had we had Hefty on heavy, I think Tetra was on heavy. Um, they may have only had one or two medics, which is really like, I think that's telling of, of, of their like point hold discipline in that... You saw that, you know, we have one-to-one -one heavy and medic on Tall, but it seemed like Frost were the ones who were always able to keep everybody up. They weren't running out of resonates, things like that. And so even though they had half as many medics, they were having a really good effect. Yeah, I see three medics this time. Three medics, one heavy, two heavies, one engine, and an infiltrator. Yeah, I think Teshro and Hefty are the two heavies. If he's using an MS-15, I usually assume it's Teshro. That seems to be his uh, weapon of choice. You are in a restricted area. I'm gonna do a little split push here. And oh, it's both infill? No, it's infill light assault. Okay. Yeah. It's hard to see in the shield. Yeah, that is J Chang on infill, so it looks like they might be doing two infills again. So I think yeah, let's check the other one, just to make sure. What do we got? We have... No yeah, second infill. No, I see him. To the left. Oh, there he is, yeah. Yep. Okay. This area is restricted. Yeah, dual infill looks like dual light assault. So I think it's two, two, and two. We're pretty much like split across all the classes. We have two light assaults, two medics, two infills, two heavies. I 
All right, All right. starting uh, match point for uh, Frost if they're able to secure this. They are all going the upstairs this time. Last time they tried the lower entrance. Oh, good opening frag. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the EMP is big. Them, yeah. That really shuts down the tall push. I know they want to get in the point quickly. A lot of trades coming out, though. Flub was able to trade with Tesro there, shut him down. Yeah, she's pretty able to keep tracking the babes. <laughs> Yeah, they got the wall and the Spitfire on pointing. Oh, big flank again. Tetro's really abusing that lower side. Yeah. That was a good flank. He's gonna be coming up through the building in a moment. Cardinal Palmos is still around. Oh, and the flank's coming out from Tetro! Again. Tell's, or, yeah, Tell's taking it a bit more slowly this time. I'm hoping I see some conks and like a coordinated push. But Hefty alone oh, just man. took out like three guys. That infiltrator's got a good hold as well. Yeah, the combination of the flanking heavy, flanking light assaults and the infills are really shutting down Tell's ability to push. Yeah. Anytime they try to peek, they have to take their time with the infills and then they get flanked. Points beginning to flip. Not oh. quite though. The spinning is man versus machine! <laughs> and Tall is able to take out the Spitfire. Resonate coming out. We have Light Assault and MG on the point. Frost is flipping it back. I don't I didn't see this point ever turn red. It never turned red. Oh, the countdown comes out. Is still counting. Oh, this is an absolute shit show. What is going on in here? And it looks like Oh, oh there we go. They did it. Might it. belong to Tall. Yep. That is lockdown. Yep, now we're running on base timer. And Tall is finally able to secure it. Yeah, first time. Where there's a resonate, there is a way. I hope this keeps going. I don't want Tall to this 3 0. Come on, Tall, you can do it. A little commentator bias coming out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get more matches that way, right? So, I think this is really interesting. I see a lot of people in Tall leaving the point, and I, I wonder if that's going to work out for them. They've already burned a lot of their resonates, so if they get caught up, oh, they got a good push big coming. issue, big push, big flying coming out from Hefty. He's going around the back of the building with the, with the Cyclone. This is going to be bad. And Tall scraped off the point, resonate coming out, but I don't know if this is going to be enough. Alright, we're still running on base timer here. Until the base becomes uncontested, then they will have three minutes to get it back. Troll, Troll's, okay, good. The, the, the key is that they need to pace themselves. They don't want to get caught in a situation where they keep getting staggered. It looks like they're being a little bit more measured in their response this time. I like what I'm seeing. They're taking it a bit slowly. They're grouping up. You didn't really see that, that in the first round. GDF7, just... oh man, that just shredded three, four Troll members. You have to be able to control that flank. He's able to retreat into the building. That's going to be a big problem for Tall as he comes up through the underneath the radio tower. And there he is. He's coming up. He's already up the stairs. Tall cannot establish a foothold if they're able to keep control of the radio tower. If Frost is able to keep control of that, they're going to have a real hard time. They have three minutes to contest this point. They can tell me to really compose themselves. Looks like they're falling back, and that's exactly what they're doing. They're recognizing how important this middle building is. Oh man, a big pick coming out from the infill. That's gonna really be a problem. Yeah, they can't even group up anymore. They're just getting picked off. So, uh, Frost has pushed up so far. I think that was kind of what I was talking about earlier on, where I think Frost is kind of starting to recognize what they're able to get away with, and that's that's putting a real big. Uh, Thorn and Tall side, they're not really able to stack up how they want, and oh man, another big flank from Hefty. Yeah. He keeps flanking, he keeps working. And these GDF7 peaks are just brutal! Yeah, they have two minutes. 
Yeah, I think Tall's kind of getting lost in the sauce here, and they're, they're, they're turning this into a, a live play brawl at this point. <laughs> Like once all these these kills start getting traded, they start kind of losing focus of what's uh, losing sight of what's going on. They they gotta regain their focus because I still haven't oh, seen any con. I saw like one con this whole match. And so. Pepsi's just keeping such good control of that building. They're finally able to kind of take control again. Let's see. Not clear in their corners though. There they go. What's their time now? About, about a minute left, I'm guessing. Tal's getting some picks. They gotta get on point, though. What's the time looking like? One minute, fifteen seconds. They're grouping up again. They're finally together. They yeah, gotta they, push they, in. Listen, they may have cleared out the building. No, they haven't cleared out the building, but one of the Tal members is pushing up without his buddies. And he gets picked off. Yeah, poor guy. He will be remembered. <laughs> Resnate coming out. We gotta watch out for those infiltrators, though. Oh man, a phenomenal flash! Yeah. Great aggression coming out from Frost. Hefty from and then the it's that lower hefty, flank. that hefty flank on the lower side. Yeah, again, you keep seeing it. It keeps. Working. And you can see on the map that they're just keep Frost is keeping presence in that lower in that building. You keep seeing the red dot behind them on the radio tower, and it just it just keeps fighting in the ass. Yeah. Oh, these are some very great peaks from Frost. What's the time? You want to give them like a 30 second warning or something? Yeah, I told him 35 seconds. Okay. I don't think they have a chance now, unfortunately. There's 10 seconds, oh, we'll they see. gotta start a timer. Send all your energy. <laughs> or your condolences. Alright, that's the timer. Frost wins. And that's round. it! Frost wins with a 3 0 sweep! <laughs> That's it, Frost won. Congratulations to Frost. Much stronger showing than I was expecting. Now, I know you're all great players, but <laughs> you did better than I thought. Above and beyond is what he means to say. Yep, above and beyond. Now, let's see what these guys want to do next. They did agree to, yeah. They Frost won three in a row, and that's probably the end of the match. Up to them though. They, they, they've got the, uh, they paid for the time. <laughs> they, filmed, yep. they paid for the full hour. <laughs> Just met it. Wait, 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 oh, next match, question mark. Oh, Tal's hungry for another. Yeah. I mean, it's up to the players that could keep playing. Yeah, everyone's down. Everyone wants to. They're all having fun this fight. The Do they want to move to another base? They want to stay at the space? What's the... What's yeah, the well, let's, let's see. Same base. Let's see. They won first game. They won game. first game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who was that? Was that Wreck? That sounds like Wreck would say. Yeah, it is. Second game. It's, yeah, three round. Yeah, it's best three out of five games. That was just <laughs> that was just one, one game. Not a, <laughs> they didn't win the match. Maybe they'll consider a map change. It'd be a bit easier for my observer cam, at least. There's a lot of indoor buildings. Cobalt here. comms. Now that's Cobalt one comms. where you can get just absolutely raked over the coals if you are not able to uh, secure a foothold. But that looks like it'd be easy enough to start a fight for because TR can just grab uh, tap waste station. I think it's tap, whatever it is. Oh, and yeah, that could be a good one. Mm -hmm. It's not tap mode, I don't even know what it is. Cobalt Geological, okay, yeah, that's the one. Geo? The vehicle yeah. cap, yeah. Yeah, I'm saying they can grab that and then they'll open up a TR timer for it. Yeah. Cobalt comms. Combat comms. Comms combat! <laughs> Oh, they all 
else to clear. Stay alert, enemy heavy nearby. We've got a hostile Spotted cloaker a hostile nearby. Infiltrator. Enemy they said they're getting a player. Negative they're getting a player in? Yeah. Does that mean? Uh, they lost a the player, but they're getting a replacement. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I say there's gonna casually 9v. <laughs> no, not the whistling. Rise to the moment you can prevail. You wanna try an interlink? The ones on Osher? That might not be a bad one for 5v5. I don't know. Those, I don't like those bases. They're kinda lazy. Day 15 with Frost, they still don't realize I'm VS. <laughs> You've infiltrated them, so to speak. <laughs> No idea where that is, but isn't there Wilco Tech? So that'll be down south. Oh, this one. Oh, or not, yeah, yeah. That uh, would be a bad one. That one's pretty good. That's the underground one with the tri like half berry triple stack. Yeah, that's not a bad suggestion. I think that's already available. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the Sunday situation is at that base, though. I know, I, like in live, I'm used to seeing Sundays like parked way off in the towers, but I'm not sure how close you can actually get them. Well, uh, you know, you could you could get Sundivers positioned, I think, up to this close on my personal waypoint. Because I, I know the point is under the bridge, but yeah. I believe there's also a satellite, and that, that that could be a pretty defender side of base, which is fine because I mean they're going to be able to rotate. But I, I'd be pretty down to see how that goes. Yeah, it'd be interesting. I actually don't remember where the satellite is at this base. I think it's just like underground or something, or it's off to the side. Oh, it it's might be in the triple stack, or yeah, you're yeah, right, it's underground. I remember now. Yeah, it's underground under the triple. Visual on a hostile enemy. I think they agreed on woke. Oh boy. Fucking newbie chat. Thanks for. <laughs> oh, they're probably all in newbie chat too. <laughs> it's your private channel. <laughs> They're all gone. I guess we're moving the book. Well, I wasn't expecting a game to. I thought it'd be over. <laughs> yeah, I think you could get a Sunder up to this close. Just right. Very cinematic. This is too fast. So one lower is this. I think the other one's okay for trying to like get between two fights, but I think this is too slow. Maybe not. Maybe this is fine. I'll do one. I'll do. No. I'll do this. This is too slow, for sure. All right, this is this is probably okay. Can you zoom uh, zoom your map in a bit? And by yeah. a bit, I mean all the way. <laughs> yeah, my bit. I had to change my binds. I had my mount bound to the scroll wheel, but I had to change it back to something else for the observer cam to work. Just because it'll be useful, because then you can spot where a fight might be happening a little bit easier. All right, let's see where Frost chooses to place their sun. Here it is. So it's a bit further than I thought, but it should be good. 
I thought you could get a bit closer than that. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Or maybe they just don't want. First strategic sunder placement. We went to... Yeah, I think they know. I'm here. Yeah, someone PM's me. Damn they can't yes. see me. Yeah, that's flub. I'm guessing I'll have to put the observer cam like underground exclusively because it's not like we're gonna see anything up above. Uh, yes and no. I mean, so you have the cave that goes up to the right here, and then you can actually get in. I believe you can get onto the triple stack from ground level, like where the bridge is, because there's like a, like an elevated platform next to the triple stack that lets you kind of get to the roof potentially and hop in. Uh, am I crazy? Oh, on the back side, I guess. But either way, you can kind of like. You are oh, I guess not. Yeah, okay, I thought that was an elevated thing. Might be thinking that based on uh, Esamir. Yeah, this is an interesting choice for a base for a game like this, but we'll see how it pays off. Yeah, I think we're going to really see um, medic usage being, like, who, who's able to, like, make, like, most economical use of their medics. It's going to be big. Because if one side gets pushed out to the L shape where the generator is, I think that's going to be just about it. That's going to be the match. Um, I think it's going to be a matter of how efficiently can you use your medics, how efficiently can you use your resonates to stay on the point. And I guess another this big thing, knowing how rough Sundays are going to be and how strong the satellite's going to be, I think uh, spawn beacon placement for the attacking side is going to be very crucial. Yeah, I could actually go in the spawn room this time and you get a nice clear view of their team. They have a light assault this time. It's, it's interesting that uh, Tall picks the light assault on the <laughs> underground <laughs> map. <laughs> Uh, trying, trying to really mix them up here. Yeah, I see. I saw. Well, I can see. Not, I can see value in the lightest all that they're able to push to the L shape, or if they're able to, I don't know, maybe somehow make use of either the radio tower or one of the towers on the side. But both of those seem like a bit of a stretch. It seems like L shape is really the uh, the option do or die to make the lightest all useful. Unless he's just maybe a sick lightest all who's just amazing with Icarus or something. But uh, I don't know about that. Yeah. I uh, got at least one one side's ready. Yeah, I saw four heavies, three medics, and a light assault. Is, is the timer uh, prepared? Uh, yeah, let me prepare both timers. They are ready. Okay, just because Tall claims to be ready. I heart Chem. Alright, here we go. First round of uh, Woke Five minutes on the clock. The inaugural Woke Cook Scrim. <laughs> yep. Woke Cook Scrim. Is that a Drifter Light Assault I just saw? <laughs> I don't know, maybe. I think it was. That, that was a real slow ascent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Tall no. really, really <laughs> showing that they're, they're not looking to let Frost in the bottom floor. Big Kong coming out, though. And a mini chain gun come out from Tall. Mini what is going on here? Look at that. That's sick. Flying faction colors. <laughs> Insulting the NC saying, I can use my mini chain gun, but you can't touch that jackhammer. <laughs> what if someone's pushing out? It didn't really pay Yeah, up. Somebody, somebody's going to be getting a scolding for that. That is Snoozy. Snoozy is taking a snooze. And picks coming out from the infills. Those infills really are just putting in work. Oh, the flank from behind. Big flank coming in. They were not able to make use of that satellite. I would have thought that they were, uh, Frost would be a little bit hesitant to push in by the triple stack. But it looks like all of Tall's on the point. And they're slowly making their advance, clawing onto the point. Yeah, they got rid of Big deep coming from NC. Looks like Frost is going to be able to take this point, most likely. Yep, still got medics alive, but we got a heavy flanking. But he is not going to be able to do it. That's Cyclone on Hefty. Shutting it down. Yep. 
They may have mini chain gun, but you know, Cyclone and GDF seven are <laughs> force of nature. I've been running the chain gun a bit more on life. It's pretty strong now. Then Call from around a triple out. stack. We got the light assault coming in. Yep, the light assault in front. I think that light assault's using like an Anna, like a Tonto or something. I, I wasn't quite sure what I saw, but yeah, let's check. Why flying get the Spitfire again? Please, that's a uh, uh, a Cougar. Yeah, it's a Cougar. cougar. Mm -hmm. These are some like really deep uh, deaths that Tall has. This is yeah. you have to be a little bit more methodical. I think one of the key things with Frost's approach was that they were taking their sweet time because they know how dangerous it is to get staggered. And Tall seems to be really like over pushing a bit here, and Hefty coming out just clearing him off. <laughs> yeah, jeez, that was so fast. I looked away for a second and I missed. See, Tal's coming in with another push. Can They're not watching their opposite flank, though. It looks like, oh, uh, this is this is this is dangerous because Frost is starting to get a little bit bold, and they're starting to say, "Okay, what can we do with this triple stack? What can we do with this uh, this outer hall?" And then Nagi Nada, what is? It? There's some really interesting choices coming up, and the <laughs> shuffle, the shuffle from Tesher. What the hell was that? Jesus, Tesher's fucking gay. Tall's ankles are collectively broken by that shuffle. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Light assault goes down. Alright, this is the, the pacing I want to see out of Tall. I want to see the I want to see them look for picks but not get so greedy that when they get a pick that they're out of position. So they need to recognize that Frost is out positioning them right now. That that's really the key to all of this. They've proven that they can get onto a point when they work together and when they take their time, nope. but I think they're getting a little bit too aggressive, a little too thirsty for the kills. Yep, they did a flank, but it was a one by one again. I'm still not seeing enough comps at a tell. Yeah, and it's a flank with two heavies and no medics, and I think they're really underappreciating the value that medics are bringing to it. And even though Frost only has two medics, they're really treasuring them. They're making sure those medics don't overextend, making sure that they don't get killed. Mm -hmm. Just tell me. Just do they even have two? Is it just one? Yeah, they only have one medic. They're running one. No, no, they have two. That's two. That's two. That's two. Okay. Okay. Big flash coming out. Uh, I'm surprised because, you know, Tal has their little buddy system. It doesn't seem oh. like they're really utilized. One so, listen, there's people on the top. Yeah, there's people. Is that above ground? Yeah, they they have a beacon. They're dropping. Well, some of them are going down. This guy's trying to flank. Let's follow. Let's see oh, that was my mistake. Like, I was looking at your radar for red dots, but I'm used to my uh, red is bad thing. Oh, yeah. You're on the yes. There's red and blue dots. Oh, Hefty going with the wide flank. Let's follow him. Follow him over the top. Oh yeah. Let's see what Hefty has for us today. It looks like Tall is starting to push into the point, but we'll see. This big flank's come out. That's gonna. Oh, he ignores the beacon! That is a little bit of BM! I don't know if he's, he knows he's allowed to kill him, but he doesn't quite care. Oh, man! He in, takes out three guys. Like, it's enough. And then that GDF7 comes in. Oh, man. And they're just collapsing on that last heavy. Resonate coming out, but that's, that's just money in the bank for Frost. And this is kind of the, these like hectic pushes are what's eating up Tall's timer. Yeah. They, they start getting a little aggressive. They, they get a kill. They get killed. Whatever it may be, and they get a little too uh, too horny for those certs. <laughs> it's not looking good. They have five seconds to put the base back. Yeah, this is looking real tricky. <laughs> Yeah, and that's it. That's, that's gonna it. do it. We're, we're, we're looking at a 4-0 on Frost right now. Yeah, 4-0. Four, uh, four Frost, rather. Let's, uh, I really want to see. It seems like those flanks from Hefty were really big this round. Can you tap? Let's see how that looked. 19 oh kills coming out from from Hefty. That is something else. Yeah, that's just from one round, yeah. Well, of course it is, but yeah, it's crazy.
and I think we can all appreciate this is this has been a V Cats cap. We have Emerald Cats NC. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I kid, that, that was a, a great frost win, though. Are we losing frost? What's going on? Now they're all in the base. Kira needs a sunburn. I don't know what it is. So if I was in tall shoes, I don't know what adjustments it would be that I'm making. Because it seems like they're having these like sort of moments of brilliance where they, they kind of come together, they push into a point carefully, methodically, and then it just kind of falls apart. And I'm not quite sure what to, what to do with that because... That's not something you can just fix with like a "Hey guys, let's stay focused" type uh, type of deal. It seems like it's really a just a, a tricky situation to be in. There's a kind of a rock and a hard place. Like, what, what are you gonna do? Yeah, if they push in through slowly, they get the flank, and the flanks have been really hurting them. So they gotta they gotta group up outside. Let's say uh, they're they're pushing this round. So let's say group in here, push in together, throw conks, and just get on the point as quickly as possible. Prevent the flanks. Spitty's on the point. Can you uh, tell somebody on NC to replace their Spitty? Oh, I guess it won't matter. They can get to that point anyway. So. Yeah, I think NC will get to the point. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, I mean, Tall does best when they're able to stack up with all of their people together. That's kind of the thing they, that they practice. They have a whole buddy system around it. But the problem is, is that Frost is able to come out with these really big flanks that have just been, like, defining the matches, honestly. Like, and that's not to say that Frost isn't holding the point. They're holding it spectacularly with two people, but... These flanks are just completely shredding tall. Like it's dismantling them in the sense that when it happens, they don't know quite how to react. They start either getting maybe a pick, somebody runs off on their own, somebody chases the flank. It seems like there's a breakdown in communication going on. Yeah, and, and I'm not quite sure what what they can do to address that. Yeah, I agree. It really seems like uh, after the first round, especially, they just their communication just went down in the gutter. Apparently they're watching my stream. They stream like... snipers, <laughs> chat. Yeah, they went right after that turret. <laughs> That's right. But naughty flub, notorious screen peeker, bane <laughs> of all split screen gamers. You can hear Sunday where mine is. It's cloaked west of the. Oh, they're trying to. Yeah, did they kill the blue button? No, they didn't. <laughs> you know, I, I'll say I've said it before, and I'll say it again. This is where Minecraft really has a leg up on Planet Side, where they have a coordinate system. <laughs> I don't know if it's something that is within Rel's capacities to uh, to get into the system. I, I know it took a while to get the the compass on the top of the screen, but I'd really like to see that. <laughs> Not like watching, I'm sorry. Yeah, it'll, it'll come up so often. Yeah, I, I frequently say to myself, man, I wish I could say that I was at X42 and Y37 to somebody. <laughs> Almost as much as the, the little compass on top. <laughs> yeah. In fact, I think there should actually be a compass on every side of the screen. I mean, sometimes I remember to look at my map, sometimes I look at the top of my screen, but sometimes I'm looking at the left or the right of my screen, and I think to myself, where is my compass? <laughs> exactly. Fill the whole screen with compass. Yeah, this this game is uh, definitely lacking in the compass department. These guys want a head start. I can't do that. Go back to your Sunderer. You can move yeah, your Sunday yeah, up if you want. Is there like a false start penalty we can do? We need, you need to maybe get on a building and fire your gun when it's time to go. I don't know. It's far as fuck, yeah. I mean, it's worked out for Frost. Well, <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you want to throw that and talk that kind of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, both this and Cobalt Columns would be brutal if you get killed. That's just, that's just a fact. Yeah. And I don't, I don't want to say that like Sunday placement is a meta in this extremely niche uh, rule set, but I think it is, and I think Frost, I think Tall is gonna immediately be pushed back into that L cave because of their Sunday. Yeah, I, uh, you're right. That I think that's a pretty good prediction, but we'll see. 
All right, they have five minutes. Clock's rolling. Let's move. And we already see a big flank coming out from the left side. At least two people flanking. Enemy They're getting stuck at the door. I'm anticipating a flank any sec. But it looks like Tal's actually is making some some headway into the point, and they've got their medics. But that big pick coming out from the oh man, from an infiltrator, from a desi, from a push with the pilot. Oh my god. And pa and Tal is getting dismantled here. We got one, now you're not a heavy left. Oh, you got two kills. Big kills now. coming out from push Mace in. Man. Someone's gonna have to push in. There we go. And we've got Kem on point. Really strong heavy player. Able to make a strong flank. Looks like Tom might be able to flip this point. First flip, first tall flip, potentially. No, maybe not the first. I already forgot. There we go, they did it. The whole tall gang is on the point, but oh man, these light assaults are being so aggressive. It's unreal. I don't know if Tall's gonna have a chance to actually make use of their medics here. Oh, the knife kill. Oh man, Kem's in a knife fight here. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I guess we're we're back on uh, back on timer. Yep. But they have uh, yeah, yeah, ten seconds. Yep, three minutes minus ten seconds. Yep. And Tal is pushing on the opposite side. That was the side that was really successful for Frost, so let's see how this works out for them. They're already back on the point, but that full fire is <laughs> uh, something else. Enemy. It's not quite able to live up to its expectations in this case. And <laughs> Info coming out, getting After pinched off. After such a strong uh, showing in the last phase. Yeah. Spitfire Spitfire turret. Is the star of the Frost lineup. <laughs> Shout out to the programmers who wrote that AI. <laughs> oh, Tall's actually pushing out getting picks now. I think this is them kind of like saying, hey, you know what? You guys may have won last round, but th this is what we're capable of. But we got a big flank from GDF7 Light Assault, but not able to make use of it. Look at look at that. I mean, you can, it, it just, it's just demonstrative that Frost is a totally different mindset with the fence. They're coming from the opposite side, making use of their spawn beacons. And oh man, that pilot ha that pilot info, that that's showing that there's a breakdown in communications. Yeah, no, they shouldn't be pushing out. Because like they even pointed out, their Sunderer is far as fuck away. So they're, they're and having they're a harder time a point. pushing their, back Their in. medics have to go res people. This is how they're giving a point. Yeah. Oh man! Cowboy hat medic tearing it up. <laughs> Red after Red Let's see how this is gonna be. I'm surprised. I'm surprised they held. Well, they're holding. Back so comms. The suppressor is surprisingly effective. There seems to be very little communication coming out from Tal about who's up, who's uh, when there are zombies around. Oh, there's the conk. They're conking themselves. Coming out from the opposite side. It's a real aggressive push coming from Ken. Let's see if he's able to make use of it. 12 chem. These are the, these are the dangerous places that I don't know if I agree with. I mean, yeah, it's great you can get these picks, but... Oh, the V5! There's a little bit of salt <laughs> coming out from chem here! Nice. I don't know if that's good for... Uh, <laughs> that's a good look. Those are not good optics for, <laughs> for Tall. Infiltrator goes. I, I think somebody needs to private message Kim. Let him know that vehicles are not allowed in this format. <laughs> Nobody will be giving him a ride. And this is what I like to see: a little bit more measured, in control of the point. Yeah, the tells this is the strongest hold I've seen all night from them. They have to really be careful. There's some pretty long sight lines here. Even despite this being underground, those impulses I think can still get some mean picks. I see a lot of resumes getting burned here. Mano is with you. Do not fall. The engineer flank not really paying off. Two medics go down. But they have to Kem finally goes down. Let's see who's pushing. No one's really on this side. Where's the rest of Frost? Oh, they're doing the flank here. Oh man. 
This is a medic and heavy. So he's Teshro and somebody else. It's a pincer this now. Is a great crossfire, but it looks like there's a flank of their own coming from Paul. Yeah. I think this would be a more adaptive side of Tal that we really want to see. Ooh, and the ants love quite... Is that a Vandal Medic? That's vandal Medic. Vandal Medic! Oh, with, oh <laughs> my goodness! Almost with the with four or five kills? What was that? <laughs> that, was, that, was like, that was three, that would have been four. That was unreal! Who was that? Oh, one. Jay Chang, insane! <laughs> Let him know he's supposed to turn the aimbot off after he gets a couple kills. <laughs> Frost's on point, they're flipping. It's really gonna be up to Tal to stay composed this last minute. It's done real well up to this point, but Frost has been inching closer and closer. I find your effort lacking. Did Frost give up? Where are they? I think they're stacking up for one last push, or they're flanking. Yeah, it's hard to see them from down here. Let's see if they're upstairs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like they're flanking! Big flank! Both doors. Ask them to push them. both doors. We have medics and infos on both doors. But a big flank from Paul, they were expecting it. Oh. Are they able to make use of it, though? A huge push on the left side coming out from Frost. They're able to retake the point, it seems. Yeah, I think that was intentional, the shit. Like, they had a... Uh... Two guys. A great resonance in. coming out from Tull. I think they're able, gonna be able to keep this. Yeah, they did it. Great hold by Tull. I think they kind of they've adapted. This is the more adaptive side of Tull I really wanted to see. They were willing to accept that. Hey, they're gonna get flank shots. We need to have people in positions that are ready to respond to it. We need to be reactive to this, and they were able to do it. That's great. Yeah, Tull has a point on the board. Yeah, and Kem with two V fives was able to not, you know. Be made to eat his own shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. That's exactly what I wanted to see. It was a little bit more adaptation, a little bit more of a measured response. Yeah, that was good. I, I For a second there, I thought that Frost pushed. They had two guys in the north door, and they had like the rest of their team on the south. I thought the two guys in the north were going to hold up tall long enough for the south side to push in, but it just didn't happen. Yeah, I think Tall was being really intelligent. They were making sure to hold the main doors, but they had one person on either side who was ready to kind of like flank the flankers. They, they kind of stayed quiet, let them push in. And th that's really big on a format of the size, right? Where like, if you're able to get two picks, you're taking out a quarter of the enemy team. And, and that can be really big, especially when a, when a flank is involved. Yeah, exactly. Hefty Bandit wasn't, uh, wasn't there, that's why SMH. Uh, is, is that true? Is, is Hefty not here? Did he leave? No, no more ringer. They didn't pay for the full hour. They only paid for a half hour. They rented him for half hour. <laughs> Hefty Bandit, known player, registered on Fiverr. You can actually rent his services for any of your scrim needs. Fiverr, really? <laughs> no, not <laughs> There he is. There he is. Hefty's right here. No, he was the cowboy hat medic. Oh, was he? No, no, no. J Chang was the cowboy hat oh, medic. Really? I think so. No, he's the only named account, so that's kind of weird. Someone paid money on a temp account. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, maybe, maybe he was the cowboy hat medic. Okay. Yeah, that, 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 that explains it. But we got the double sun. Let's see if it pays off. No, there was there's not maybe not a hefty boy uh, hefty enough to flank. <laughs> we have two Sundays. Let's see if this is, is this maybe the meta strat. <laughs> Both deploy shield though. I think they would have been better off with the repair Sunday if they were going to pair Sundays up. Let's see if this uh, if this pays off for Frost. Now I'm real interested with with the V5s that came out from Chemstrike. I'm wondering if that's going to uh, kind of play into the psychological game, or if that's going to be a, a sort of a taunt to get bodied situation. Yeah, let's see. Hopefully Frost's morale didn't take a hit after that. Yeah. Don't cap yet. Uh, 
All right, let's check out the lineups here. Let's see what classes we're dealing with. I will say I'm really glad to see the uh, the variety in builds here. I, yeah. I've seen I've seen people use emissaries. I'm seeing a heavy with a Naginata. I've seen for some reason a medic with a vandal. <laughs> Inexplicable, honestly. I've seen an info with a pilot. Uh, it's it's really great. Immediately. Looks like Tal is sticking with three medics, three heavies. Well, there's eight players, so I wonder what the other two are doing. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I think they actually had a, a, an info and a uh, light assault, but... We'll actually, see I, no, there, there wasn't an info on, on Tall last round, actually. Maybe that's the secret sauce to their victory. This beacon's hanging out. Yep. All of Frost is going to immediately redeploy onto that, uh, that beacon. <laughs> But we'll know if they're stream sniping if they do that or if they place a new one. No, no, no. I think, I think it's generally understood that that would be uh, borderline questionable. Unfortunately, I can't really tell who's running what on the frost side because they are all invisible. No, they're still, yeah, they don't want to do it. No stream snipers allowed. They know Flub is in chat, they know he is uh, harvesting data. <laughs> Resident data analyst for Tall. <laughs> Oh, they pulled a max. The max has come out. Frost has had enough of the V5. Yep, Hefty Bandit, known max main. <laughs> He's going in. <laughs> We're back just one moment. Right. Perfect timing, huh? Yep, here we go. Round three of this map. It's one to one. So I'm honestly not sure. Given that Tall won last round, I don't know what I would say that, like, hey, they really need to do or what Frost really needs to do to change. I mean, last round was just a really close nice close enemy. match. I don't think there was one really big uh, egregious flaw. Oh, Cowboy Hat Medic's attempt account. You were right. Yeah, that's 0 1. Yep. Jay Chang. And he goes down. Enemy medic in the area. Yeah, where's Frost here? They're going for the flank, it looks like. Yeah, Frost's first flank, uh, the... Oh, man. Oh. Really aggressive play coming out from this light assault. Not able to make use of it, though. TMG heavy shuts him down. What's happening to Frost? They're, it looks like they're grouping up pretty well. This was the side that they, when they pushed on the first round, they had a lot of success with, and they're on the point. So the timer might be flipping in their favor very shortly. Yeah, and uh, looks like base timer is going. All right, base timer. It seems like they just kind of walked on the point there. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> Where what the hell was Frost? Where the hell was Tell? Oh man, looks like they're just disassembled by the infiltrator. I really like to see this weapon variety coming out from Tal, honestly, because usually it's kind of this MSW, kind of homogenous, heavy gameplay coming out from DR, but we got Naginata's here, we got... We got I think TMG's I see a Rhino, here. is that a Rhino? Oh god, I hope not. <laughs> I think that's a, that's a TMG, I think. If it's, if it's a Rhino, I'll be maybe happy, maybe sad, we'll see. Yeah. yeah, 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 okay, thank goodness. Trying to push in. They already lost two guys. Medic needs to rest. I think this is kind of a staggering situation. Yep, that's what I really like to see. I honestly like to see this though. 
they're, they're taking their time. They are getting shut down, but they're taking their time. I think that's essential. They need to fall back after these reses, honestly. Yeah. I agree. Absolutely agree. But they aren't, see, even still, they're not dying too far from doorways. They're, st they're staying together. Yes, Frost is keeping a good hold, but I don't think Tall is doing anything wrong here. They're not, like, making any really big misplays. I think if Tall can get either a good flag in or a good set of picks in, they'll, they'll be golden. And I do see there's somebody flanking on the far side over the bridge from Tall. Two people actually flanking on Tall on the far side. The problem is, though, that a lot of picks have come out on this close side. Yeah, it wasn't enough. They got the buddy system going there. There's the medic and heavy comp. Yeah, and that's really big. The problem is that there are picks coming out on the triple stack side, so once once the people on this side are dead, they can kind of refocus and completely focus on whoever's flanking. So they kind of need to time when the flanks come in to be maybe a little bit after the triple stack push. They've been a lot more methodical, though. Is with you. This is the adaptive side of Tall I like to see. Come on. Come on, Medic, you can do it. There we go, here's the push. And that's exactly what I'm talking about, where the, the flank kind of came in just as Fox was kind of draw back on that side. This is back and forth. And so that's, what, a minute 10 off the clock? Yeah. That's two minutes plus three minutes. All right. For defenders to win. All right, so we're back on the defender timer. Rise to the moment you can prevail. Oh. Hefty tearing it up. I think that's he's right angling. Notorious right angler. <laughs> Frost is struggling to push in. I don't know if the light assaults are paying off. There's not a whole lot you could really do with light assaults underground. The ambushes, I guess. Ambushers. This is a fresh push coming in from Frost. Stay alert. Enemy heavy nearby. Stay Stay alert. Enemy enemy heavy. Heavy nearby. We got an enemy heavy nearby, it sounds like. Enemy heavy. Heavy spot. Stay alert. Enemy heavy nearby. And good lord, which way is Tall looking? <laughs> oh, oh man. Oh man! He's alive! He's fish come up from Cam and he's down! Not able to get the medic back up though. This is just one medic. Kill him. There oh, we go. not able to get the other medic up, and Tall pushes them out. Well, what is going on on the other side? Resonate coming out. Holy, gets one of them. The medics are available. The <laughs> guy pushes my camera. <laughs> Oh man, oh, this whole man. northern Big push, wipe. or southern push, just taking it. But, wow, Frost is on point! Where the hell did this come from? I don't know. Side, it was the, the battle rifle medic with info combo. Do not sleep on it. Body shot from the info, oh. <laughs> one headshot from the medic, that's all it takes. This is just the, the strangest series of point holds. Hefty pushing out for the big flank. But he himself is going to be flanked if he doesn't get help with his medic. Where is Hefty? I don't see him. Uh, he is dead. Okay. Unless he, uh, went somewhere else. Yeah, Tal's trying to do a split push. It's not really paying off so far. Yeah, see, this is the, that is not the kind of push I like to see from Tall, where they kind of desperately get up and, and just ro hold Shift W after getting rest. That's that is not the strat. That's yeah, the broadsword strat. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Frost is in no hurry, and that's what Tall needs to do as well. That, that's what we've seen when, when they kind of take their time. You know, when they when they catch an L, they they they, they take the L. Right? They, they're not. Yeah, that's. Oh man, Fragon though. Yep. Big fries coming out on this left side from Paul. Making me eat my words. Great stuff from these tall medics. Heavy spot. Eyes 
Oh, looks like they wiped. Them's the brakes. Rise to the moment you can Still, it's very back and forth. This is probably the longest match so far. Yeah, Rekt had a great showing on the point there. These big sidelines are exactly what I want to see. That, see, that's exactly it. Being able to rotate, turn everything into a 2v1, this is exactly what Tall needs to be able to do. But a big flag coming out from Hefty! Not able to really secure too much, so he gets two kills. I don't think the tall medics are going to get people back up, but, you know, at this point, they really just need to keep stalling. So, at, honestly, finals like that coming out from nothing, that means that eats up 10 seconds, 20 seconds off the clock. That's that's a success yeah. in my book. Yeah, no, once Hefty goes down, he has to run so far. So, honestly, yeah, a pick like that's worth it, for sure. Tall's, Tall's on point. Back on point, it looks like it's going to be a bit of a brawl, though. Oh, and Hefty cutting them up. Somebody kicked us off from this man. <laughs> that's it, that's Tall gone. This man goes down, and that's this is gonna be Tall's last push, it looks like. Will you truly allow yourself to get a good angle? They're probably gonna go through the uh, satellite. The satellite, you're right. Here we go. It looks like they might be doing another flyer. Oh, there we go. Classic Vanu, uh, Vanu theme music going to the TR push. <laughs> Where's the rest of Tull? Are they flank? Could they be, they could be on the opposite side, but wow, we that close side tall is not able to make it. They're all underground. Looks like this is 10 seconds. This is do or die. Yeah, they, they, I don't think they can make it. Yeah, it looks like they chose die. Uh, Frost is pushed up into the triple stack, and we have the info right here. Who is this? This is O2. This is Chemstrike. Oh yeah, I think man, this is Chemstrike. New conglomerate has taken the facility. All right, two one on the new map. Brand new. Looks like Frost a little bit more attacker side on this map. And that's the exact opposite of what I expected to be. Not entirely honest. I assumed with the uh, with the closeness of the satellite and just kind of the layout of the base, I figured that uh, it would be a lot more defender side, especially with how far people have to run. But it seems like both teams being kind of methodical with their medics, being a little bit on the more careful side, that doesn't seem to be impacting them too much. It seems like once they get a hold of the point, the uh, the defenders are having a real hard time clawing it back for both both sides. Yeah. No, like, you're right. Like, look at how far these Sunderers are, but the attackers have won every single round so far on this map. Yeah, it might be something to these Nota Poisons. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not quite sure why that is, too, because we haven't really seen any kind of, like, uh, spawn camp situation. It's not... There really hasn't been much of an attacker presence in the triple stack. There really hasn't been much of an attacker presence, even in this hallway. I mean, you'll see a flank every now and then, but... So I'm, I'm not quite sure where to where to put it. It might just be that once you're on the point, it's fucking hard to scrape you off. Yeah, that should be right for defenders, too. But, I mean, defenders have a longer timer, I guess. They have a lot... Well, that doesn't make any sense. I don't know what's going well, on. Well, I guess, I guess the attackers can kind of mitigate their long run with the beacon, right? I haven't really been paying attention much to the beacon situation because we've been underground all the time. Yeah, I haven't... I didn't catch where the NC beacon was last round. Oh, I think... No, there was one oh, right there here. Was, yeah, there was a defender beacon over here at one point. That was the, that was uh, when it was uh, tall defending, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't quite know. I mean, it could even be that the... Uh, the attacker side, it kind of slopes to get into the lower areas. And it could be that, like, kind of breaking up of the sight lines makes it so the attackers are more consistently able to kind of choose how they enter. Whereas the defenders, they kind of have to line up and get, like, real long sight lines to the, yeah. uh, to the point. Maybe. And I think, you, you know, like, with, with Frost, even with, like, the pairs of TMG heavies on Tull, it's kind of like that's a bit of a death sentence. Mm -hmm. Did they kill both Sunders? No, hell no. <laughs> they don't have to, I mean. Uh, get rid of it, I don't want it. You don't want it? 
<laughs> no. Destroy, destroy it. <laughs> Target acquired. <laughs> I think uh, for both teams, it'd be good if they could get beacons like on the opposite end of the map from their spawn. I yeah, haven't, I haven't, I haven't seen that too much. Enough. Yeah, I have not been paying close attention to it, but it seems like beacons haven't had like that crazy, oh shit, there's somebody flanking me effect that you, you've kind of seen with a lot of uh, a lot of other matches. I think maybe the the underground portion is is owing to that a bit, where it's like there's only so many places you can actually flank from, and that would be the triple stack and the kind of little cave entrance on the left side. Yeah, I'll try to keep an eye on where they place their beacons this time. See if they do some really aggressive beacons. I think that's the key to this map. We got four heavies, four medics again. Looks like. Alright, both sides. Let's start the five minute timer, here we go. Yeah, NC Beacon is uh, pretty defensive on their side of the map. Yeah, I think people are just kind of using it as like an alternative to their Sunday spawn just because why wouldn't you? Right, zero second timer, just take it. Mm -hmm. Where's the red beacon? Red beacon is also pretty far back. You're right. Ooh, that, yeah, that, I mean, that's close enough that that's, that kind of mitigates the entire thing. It just becomes who can stay on the point longer. Really wide flank here. This is not going to make me. Really short work of anybody in the point. And he gets a team <laughs> kill! Big team kill coming out from Mace Man! <laughs> Minus one social credit! They were just like that, they flipped the point. That is the key to Tall's power, is just making sure to sort of uh, get rid of the chaff every now and then. see some above ground gameplay from NC here. No, this is all about being a mole man. <laughs> yeah, they're trying the flanks, they're not paying off. Oh. This poor engineer. This engineer poor engineer looking a little bit richer though. <laughs> oh my Poor there engineer go. clearing the point! <laughs> yeah, poor guy. And the spitty comes up. That, we know that's key. And I'm really liking the uh, how, how he's kind of adapting with where, where he's placing his energy shield. I don't remember. I don't think that was where it was earlier. I think it was just kind of placed arbitrarily before. And this seems like a really good place to shut down a push. Oh, someone's trying to flank. What number is that? Uh, it's 19. 19. I don't know who that is, it's actually not unallocated, that must be their, uh, fill person. Here we go, we Get have a three man flank. Really good push, it. two medics and a heavy here. And that was shut down real bad, this is that infill made short work of them. Mm -hmm. All the tall presence on the right side, they are on the point. Not able to really establish much though. Three minutes. And this is the staggering that Tall needs to avoid. They need to keep a rhythm between their flanking side and their, you know, kind of more aggressive total force side. I don't know what else to call it. But the side where they're, they're putting most of their people and the side where they're putting their flank. They need to kind of sync those things up. Nice push from those heavies. Yeah, it looks like they just cleaned it up right away, but maybe not. Hashiro cutting them up. With Hefty on the point, and that's, <laughs> that's all she wrote. But the Nagi Nada has something to say about that! It's so hard to use the camera in here. Oh, they're pushing they out. The resonate coming out. Yeah, that looks like a white and tall. NT's a little push, we got the resonate coming out! Ooh, the zombies are picked off. The Spitty's putting on some pressure. NC 
And that's honestly something I think I've seen really underutilized. You're not seeing a lot of Desis come off in these heavies. No Desis, yeah. I mean, think of the value of just you pick somebody off with a, with a loose Desi that happens to, you know, he kills one eighth of their team. I think Hefty and Petra are the only people I've seen throw out a Desi every now and then. The point's clear. Tal just needs to realize this, and there they go. But Hefty's flanking with the. Uh, oh, uh -huh. no. Tied. Yeah, tied with 14 over. Yeah. Don't sleep on Snoozy. That's his specialty. Alright, with that, we're back on base. Really big flank though coming out from Talos. This is impressive how much they're able to coordinate really wide flanks like this. And that, this tells me that they may actually have cleared off the TR beacon. Can you go check out back and see if that's true? Yeah, let's take a quick look. It's yeah, no TR beacon. Yeah, no it's gone. TR beacon. No, that's really good. all it takes. G given where that medic dropped, it, it tells me that they maybe put a beacon over by the L shape, but even still. I think they're starting to realize, hey, we can clear beacons, we can kind of push them back a little bit. Will you truly allow yourself to move? Right, tell us 20 seconds to make a move here. Well, no, they have more time than that. No, no, the base timer's just been going, hasn't it? No, it's, we gotta wait until the base is uncontested. Yeah, that's what I mean, it's like, the base hasn't, like, uh, we haven't even gone into the actual, like, lockdown timer, right? We have, we, we only have one minute left on that. Oh, okay. Back on lockdown. Oh, Desi coming out from tall but not able to do it. I think Tall's going to be really tempted to spam resonates here, but they need to restack. Maybe a fourth medic wouldn't hurt. Or a fifth medic, rather. Two, I don't even six, know if that's six. it. I think they just need to, like, pick an option and stick to what they have, but they're maybe getting a little too aggressive here. And T Frost just putting on the pressure. Might be the first defender win on the map. Has Frost cracked the code? You really, all you gotta do is take out the offensive beacon. And they have to run so far back, at least so much well, time. Well, is still dropping from beacons. That, that's they the thing are. is that. I think that NC has just been really good about any time TR is starting to take the point. NC flanks really wide and comes from the same side. Comes from the attacking side. And so TR isn't quite sure where to cover. Nice thing, you have four hallways to cover, you have to pick one. A lot of TR just fell to that one guy. Oh, the pilot! <laughs> oh, the commissioner though! And that's it! No, I oh, fucked no, up. TR, no, I TR fucked has up. Point. TR has the point. I fucked. You fucked up! I fucked up, but it's okay. You can they hold it? They got 10 seconds on the clock. And they need to cap the base. It doesn't look like it's going to be the case. Yeah, Frost is back in the point. The zombies aren't having much luck. Yeah, tell, it's hard to keep it. track of them. They're all over the place. They're all spread out. I didn't even yeah. realize the point flips. They're all spread out. I think that's about it. Yeah, after this, 10 more seconds and Frost wins the round. Back on timer, 10 seconds. A new conglomerate has taken the facility. Yeah, this does not look like Tall's match. Alright, that's it for... Yeah, Frost has cracked the Tall code here. That's the first defender win to, uh, to Frost. Yep, it scores 3-1. So we're playing best of five. I mean, we're always playing best of five. They explained it very strangely to me. No, it's a best of five, but if it's three, one. What's the score? I forget. I fuck it. What do you mean? So right at this point, Frost has won eight. Or no, sorry, they won six. What about on this right. map? Yeah, no, Frost has won six because they won three on Gen 9 and they won three on this match. So it's. 6-1, I believe, right? Yeah, but what about this map specifically? Because this is game 2, one, right? Isn't it? Oh, no, no, no. Is, is that the case? Yeah, I think it's 3-1. Yeah, it should be 3-1. So that's it. I think we'll call it. Looks like that, that's it. Yeah. Let's 
see if everyone else wants to start. Well, I mean, if one team wants to yeah. start. <laughs> <laughs> will Tall allow for us to stop? <laughs> or will they force them to play on you? A living nightmare. <laughs> Looks like that's it. So we done, right? Yeah, you done alright. That's it, Wrecked. Wrecked reminding everybody to log out of the game, they'll just leave it running overnight. I do that every now and then, get out real mine crypto. <laughs> Yeah, every, I think everyone's gone. That's it. Well, GG's, guys. That was some uh, good planet side. Pretty good. Looks like Frost is walking away with this with six wins. Tal with one. So six ones, the final score here. And GG's. Uh, I'll see you guys later. This has been Frost versus Tal with Broadsword Commentary. I'll see you guys on live. Bye-bye. Have a nice night. It's been real, gentlemen. And ladies.